Hello, everyone, and welcome to Trellis Studio. I'm Jake Mitchell, Senior Manager of Startup Programs with Trellis Group. And today I'm excited to welcome Rajiv Jalim, Global Head of Sustainability at AMCS. Uh, welcome, Rajiv, to Trellis Studio. It's great to have Thank you. Thank you so very much, Jake. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, and I'm excited to pick your brain and, and really understand how tech and leveraging tech helps corporates and sustainability professionals reach their sustainability goals. So let's just jump into it. And for the purpose of tech here, we're talking about software or more specifically SaaS tool, software as a service. So I wanna ask you, you know, where do you think tech fits into uh, sustainability programs and building a program that, a sustainability program that is tech enabled? Yeah, no, fantastic question. It's one that, that I'm an advocate for considering that I work in the software space. Um, tech is a tool and it's a very powerful tool that any professional that's worked in any department across any line of business would appreciate there's value in. As it stands, say, tech is meant to catalyze um, the process, the operating procedure. It's meant to help identify areas for efficiency and optimization. Organizations, regardless of their size, are leveraging tech across their sustainability departments to help them collect data that's a lot more accurate and get them to actionable insights in a much faster time period so that they can actually spend less resources or at least optimize how they're spending resources on executing and implementing the different components of their sustainability program. Absolutely, that's super helpful. And obviously measuring and optimizing performance uh, is great, but tech can't fix everything. Right, it's not a silver bullet. So, uh, you and I have talked about this. Tell us, tell us what you mean by that. How, why isn't tech a silver bullet, and what should sustainability teams keep in mind there? Yeah, certainly. I mean, even though I work in software and and tech, I'm the first to tell you, as you said, that tech is not that silver bullet. So, any sustainability professional would know that sustainability programs are quite vast and diverse in terms of the stakeholders that are involved, in terms of the business processes involved, in terms of the different departments that are involved across an organization's value chain. As I mentioned, tech is just a tool that enables a lot of action across those different elements. But activating a comprehensive sustainability program is still going to need uh, other stakeholders and other tools, such as consultants and other partners within the space to actually realize the objectives of the program. Tech is meant to make the day-to-day -day tasks a lot easier. It's meant to remove a lot of the tedious work, and it's meant to have you with to help you develop accurate baselines so that you can actually stand by the information that you're reporting and putting into your sustainability disclosures. So it's just a tool. It's not the only tool. A truly comprehensive sustainability program will have different tools in that toolkit. And a, and a sustainability prof professional should be able to draw on those tools as necessary. You know, in, in at AMCS Group, we actually work with a fantastic network of consulting partners who help bring that consulting expertise to our clients so that they can actually use our tools in the most efficient way possible. That's great and, and super helpful to know that sustainability teams should be looking for advice and consulting outside of the tech itself. Yeah. And, you know, adopting technology into a team is, is no easy feat, right? We're asking sustainability teams to adopt to new processes across their teams, which is difficult and it's an adjustment. Yeah. So do you have any advice for sustainability teams who are adopting new tech tools uh, and best practices or any yeah. advice you could share there? I'd say just dive right in. Unfortunately or fortunately, depending on, on whether you're a glass half full or glass empty, half empty kind of person, uh, there isn't a perfect moment that arises in any business process where you realize that this is the moment to launch a, a solid tech platform or a solid tech offering. I would say dive right in. A lot of the sustainability solutions out there, just like the ones that we develop at AMCS, they're meant to be implemented in a phased approach. So you're not biting off more than you can chew. You're meant to implement and scale the technology over time, but you still have to get started. It doesn't mean you purchase everything. It doesn't mean you implement everything. It doesn't mean you train all of your employees from day one. That can be a very daunting task. But the biggest tip for any organization is to dive in. 
take small digestible chunks of that tech program that you can actually implement and work with it and iterate over time and you will see improvements and successes. The biggest companies I can tell you that we've worked with, the Fortune 500s, the multinationals, the multi-multi-billion dollar companies, even they're not fully ready to set up tech programs that can run smoothly from day one. But what we have seen with success across those companies is their interest to iterate over time and to improve um, the role that tech plays in their program over time. They weren't waiting for that perfect moment. They decided to start right now. That's great. Can you share? And I'm sure it depends on on different sustainability teams and the bandwidth and the size. But on average, you know, when you're working with with clients, how long do you think it takes to really uh, get into the groove, if you will, of the SaaS platform and and go full speed ahead? If yeah. you could put some sort of average time on there on that. Yeah. I mean, implementation, well, when I say implementation, because I don't want to assume everyone knows implementation of tech, implementation really means installing the application, even though there is no installation because it's, it's cloud hosted, it's a SaaS application, but installation and configuration of the application, training your users, and then getting your historical data into the system. Typical implementation times can go anywhere from two to six months. And we've had some clients who've actually chosen to implement over longer periods of time, uh, just by choice. They've decided that they want to phase it out uh, over a year. In terms of actually getting a tech program up and running, getting usable insights from it, being able to make uh, data-driven decisions and then scale the program, we've seen a lot of success with organizations over the period of a year. So I would say from implementing in the first three to six months to getting everyone comfortable to actually being able to make decisions in time for the next fiscal year. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Rajiv, for, for sharing these key insights. You heard it from Rajiv, just jump right in and be patient with the process. Um, thanks for sharing these insights on how to implement tech and sustainability teams. Um, thank you all for joining Trello Studio today. You just heard from Rajiv Jalim, Global Head of Sustainability at AMCS. Thanks again for joining Trello Studio and have a great day. Thanks very much, Jake.